Now that you've put on all your windows and doors, we can then put a roof on our project. Selection tool, select the four outside walls. Now this is a small project, so it's reasonably easy. You could also just drag your cursor across all of those walls. And if you're using Vectorworks Architect, Landmark, or one of the designer packages, don't forget to use your Select Similar tool. Very quick at selecting the walls. Model on the menu bar, AEC, and we're going to create a roof. My Eve profile is vertical. I could make it square, or horizontal, or even double. I'm going to choose vertical. The thickness of my roof, around about 6 inches, 150 millimeters. The roof pitch, 30 degrees. The bearing height, 8 feet, or 2.44 meters. And the eave overhang, 24 inches, 600 millimeters. We want to put this onto our roof layer. And please make sure you retain your original objects. If you do not retain your original objects, you will lose all of your walls. Click OK. And there's my roof. With the selection tool, I can click on that handle there, and I can change the settings on that end. I can make it a gable. I can change the eave overhang, make it say 300 millimeters. I can do the same at this end. Now I could make it into a Dutch gable. So the wall thickness six inches, my offset back there, say five feet. The bearing height, that's fine. The eave overhang, that's fine. That overhang there, 12 inches maybe. And that's created my gable end. If I change to a flyover tool and I fly around that object, you can see there's my gable end. Click on that handle again, and we're going to change that to a gable with a 12 inch overhang. You might notice that I've also got walls that fill in the gable ends. If you don't want those walls, you can get rid of them, but then you'll have to adjust the walls below to fill in that space. 